A 46-year-old secondary school proprietor is currently in the custody of the Nigerian police for alleged defilement of a four-year-old girl in the Delta State, South, South Nigeria. News Central's correspondent, Austin Azu, tells us more. Residents of Asaba, Delta State capital, have expressed concerns over the alarming rate of defilement of minors and domestic violence in the states. The issue of rape in Delta State is becoming too much. It's becoming rampant. You're supposed to rape a four years old girl. When girls are all over, everywhere. It's child abuse. Even 10 years old girl, I've never started meeting a man. Talk of four years old child. No, no, no. I don't think that man is normal. Because most, we find out that mothers seem to be too busy. They have a lot of career women. They just dump their children in school and face their business. So we've been advocating to women on the need to bring out more time for their children, know the environment you leave your child. Director, Sexual Offenses, Domestic Violence and Child Rights Unit, Ministry of Justice, Asaba, said the state has long domesticated its laws against rape and defilement, sexual assault and violence against persons. She said the punishment for rape in the state is life imprisonment. As the Section 3 of the Violence Against Persons Law 2020, if you use any object other than the penis in the vagina, in the anus, in the mouth, on her breasts, all this encompassing, they, they are all called rape and the, the punishment is life imprisonment as provided in Section 4 of the Violence Against Persons Law. This 46-year-old school proprietor in the custody of the police in Delta State is accused of defiling a four-year-old girl during school hours. The state commissioner of police who spoke through the command spokesman said the victim's mother, while about beating her daughter, discovered bloodstain in her private part. Upon questioning, her daughter kept stating that her uncle at the school used scissors to cut her private part. The police mouthpiece said preliminary investigation led to the insurance of a medical report and the initiation of identification exercise where the suspect, who is the only male teacher in the school, when placed amongst random men, was identified by the victim as the person who allegedly defied her. And the child repeatedly told the investigators that this particular uncle of her defied her in the school premises. Mayway, the suspect denied carnal knowledge of the victim. That I should just confess I'm the one that did it and they will tell me to pay for damages. I tell them I cannot say what I did not do. If anything happened to that girl, it's outside the school. Police say investigation is still ongoing as there are a number of loose ends in the matter. According to the little girl, the person she identified as her uncle used scissors to cut her. This may require extra consideration. At age four, will there have been any chance she will point at any random man when a man she is familiar with is in the mix? Why the police are assuring all consent of justice? It is important to ensure that justice is not just said to be done, but seen to have been done. Austin Azu. News Central, Asabel.